This video highlights two invasive freshwater mussel species that, if introduced to BC, would have extensive negative impacts. Quagga mussels and zebra mussels are not native to North America. Their small size distinguishes them from our native freshwater mussels in BC. They were introduced by transcontinental shipping from the Baltic Sea to the Great Lakes region in the 1980s. They have since spread to Manitoba, Ontario and Quebec and over 24 American states. While not yet present in BC, quagga and zebra mussels could survive in our freshwater systems if introduced. Unlike BC's native mussels, zebra and quagga mussels attach to hard surfaces, allowing them to be moved between water bodies by boats and equipment. This map shows movement of watercraft in North America and how far invasive mussels could be moved by transported boats. They can easily attach themselves to boats, trailers, equipment, vegetation, and other organisms. Newly settled mussels are particularly difficult to detect as they are only a few millimeters in size. Zebra and quagga mussels multiply rapidly and are extremely difficult to eradicate once they become established in an area. They can survive for up to 30 days out of water and their microscopic free-swimming larvae can also survive for that long in standing water. So boats or equipment that have not been cleaned and dried can transfer these invasive species from one body of water to another. Freshwater invasive mussels are found on recreational boats, trailers and equipment destined for BC every year. Zebra and quagga mussels pose a serious threat to BC's aquatic ecosystems, recreational opportunities, salmon populations, hydropower stations and other facilities. They can substantially alter aquatic food webs and could collapse valuable native fish populations such as sockeye salmon. These mussels are also a threat to BC's endangered Rocky Mountain Ridged Mussel. They can decrease the quality of the recreational experiences and impact tourism as mussel shells can injure swimmers along shorelines and foul boat propellers. Zebra and quagga mussels can clog pipes, water intake systems, and municipal water supply. The economic impact of these mussels to hydropower, agricultural irrigation, municipal water supplies, and recreational boating has been estimated at $43 million per year. This estimate is not including additional impacts on commercial and recreational fisheries. To date, no zebra or quagga mussels have been detected in any lakes or waterways in BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Oregon, Idaho, or Washington State. In 2015, the province of BC launched the Invasive Mussel Defense Program to prevent the introduction of freshwater invasive mussels. The program includes watercraft inspection stations, early detection lake monitoring, and outreach and education. The BC Conservation Officer Service has a team of specialized inspectors checking and, if necessary, decontaminating watercraft coming into BC. If you are transporting a watercraft in BC, it is mandatory to stop and report to any open invasive mussel watercraft inspection stations along your travel route. Watercraft includes sailboats, motorboats, car toppers, kayaks, canoes, and paddleboards. Failure to stop at an open inspection station could result in a fine. The Aquatic Invasive Species Canine Program was launched in 2017 and has two multi-purpose detection dogs, Kilo and Major. These dogs are trained to detect invasive zebra and quagga mussels. All watercraft launching into BC waters should follow the clean, drain, dry approach to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species in BC. When leaving a water body, inspect boats to remove any visible plants and animals, and clean, drain, and dry your boat and all your gear.
If you suspect any transport, possession, sale, or release of invasive mussels, report it immediately to the Conservation Officer Services Report All Poachers and Polluters, or RAPLINE. You can help to prevent these invasive species from coming to BC.